wake up alone. Sometimes I wanna wake up and be on my own. Sometimes I wanna wake up and be on my own. It's your host, man. T Mac in the building. It's your boy, Bell. Rico, back again. And, uh, we got a topic today, you know. That's serious, you know, a little more serious, you know. And, uh, you know, it really affects a lot of things that goes on in the world today. And, you know, it starts with, like, irresponsible parents. And, you know, so y'all give me a break now, you know, what we mean by irresponsible parents. First off, we don't want to take any sides of anybody. We're trying to touch a lot of a lot of a lot of different subjects on this matter, but we don't want to offend anybody. We don't want to tell anybody what to do. This is just our view from how you know we think about it. So, responsible parents, man. It's a lot of parents. It's a lot of baby making out there, but you know, a lot of people ain't doing their jobs. At all. No even care. care man. Really ain't care, man. Ain't doing their jobs. Man. Some of y'all dudes, man, I'm gonna start with the dudes first, man. Okay. Y'all dudes, man, got y'all making babies, man. Leaving the, the, the baby mama, man, just with no help. The only thing you out here doing is maybe grinding, messing around with other little sluts. You ain't doing nothing, man. Probably more like you ain't doing nothing, but you ain't seeing your kids, man. That's, you know, and you know what I'm saying? You, you get, you done got some seeds. God done bless you to even have kids. You know, to create something. You ain't even spending time with your baby because you want to go out and get some nookie. You want to make some money. You want to do this. But what about your baby, man? What about your baby, man? You can't love nobody. You can't love your child. You know what I'm saying? A lot of kids these days, they just need a lot of some guidance, you know? Just need love from their dads, man. You can't expect the mom to take care of everything, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, dudes, you know, a lot of them usually come around later on in life. You know what I'm saying? Some of them never come around. But, and, and I just don't understand that. But you have a beautiful creation, and you don't want nothing to do with them because you can't get along with your baby mama because your baby mama done did this. What your baby mama did ain't got nothing to do with the baby, man. Why does the child have to suffer because of y'all immaturity? with each other that y'all can't make things connect and work. You know what I'm saying? Now this baby growing up, stressed out, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just seeing so much stuff, seeing mom struggle, mom can't spend much time. She's stressed, if she's a good mom and she's really trying, she doing what she to do. You know, some of y'all, you're shocked with the good mothers, you know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, it's a lot of strong women out there, man. A they lot. Cause y'all. Yeah. I have y'all. Definitely good so. Definitely. So, and, uh, yeah, man. Strong women, man. You need, you need your parents, man. You need that dad's man. Step up to the plate, man. Be there, man. Be there. Be there for your kids. You know what I'm saying? You can think about it, man. Being being like I said, man. Ain't really been in too many situations and somebody ain't really taking care of something. So, you really can't touch down on that, man. I don't know, take care of it. Everybody. Everybody. Mm -hmm. all, my, all my friends that got kids, they all take care of it. They all hold it. What about their parents, though? Is all their parents, all their dads here? Yeah. 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 Like me, I've been, I've been blessed to have a dad all my life. You know, my parents, my parents split up a while ago when I was young, and it was kind of rough on me, but I was blessed that my father had stepped up and, you know, continued to, to help me mature into a young man, and, you know. Um, just fellas, man, y'all, man, I'm just trying not to single y'all out, but it's a lot of y'all, man. Like you said, y'all y'all want to run around and do the things y'all want to do, but y'all should have thought of that before you was messing around with the girl that you got pregnant, man. Oh, they out here. No, I'm saying you gotta know anybody. Man. Oh, I can think about a couple offhand. Yeah, that's that's this. We, we gonna touch that though. They they want well, yeah, 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 to. Yeah, we gonna though. get back. We gonna get to the females. So, so right now we on the fellas, man. Yeah. Fellas, man, y'all. <laughs> I know, I know, I know a lady. Uh, I know a young lady, man. Not even 25 yet. She has three kids. Three kids. The first time she had sex with a guy. She ended up being pregnant, and the guy completely bailed on her. Didn't want nothing to do with it. And 
personality, you know. No, this boy is No, but she sees the same guy every day. Every day, because she works with him. Works with him. So you've got to see that same dude that ain't doing nothing for your kid every day. But that one mistake, that one time she had sex, man, it was... A little 18 minutes of fun. Yeah. And you could have put a condom on. Maybe you didn't. Hey, if you're not ready for the responsibility, don't do it, man. Just wrap it up, man. Don't do it. If you know you can't afford to have the kids, man, you want to put the condom on. You can't blame no excuse. I was drunk, blah, blah. If you know you're going to a club to meet females, you need to be stopping the store when you're getting your gum and your breath mints. You need to be getting some condoms, too. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say, y'all just, y'all just shooting the kids out and y'all running. Y'all don't care about that. Females, though, what, what I don't understand is if the dude is holding it down and he's doing this thing for his child, put him on child support for what? I they, think they, they, they won't disagree. They won't. Yeah, that, that's all if that's he's all really holding his down, now you ain't got no complaints. Now you want to take a lot of time to just shorten it up. Make, make it worse now. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why you want to do that? Because you mad you got a new girlfriend. You know he a good man. Yeah, and yeah. And that you know, you, you messed up, or y'all ain't work, but you don't want to see him happy now. <laughs> so he do what he can for his baby, taking care, you know, for child support, for all this. I mean, take care of his baby, you go file child support on him. Yeah. Ladies, do y'all history, man. Do y'all history. This has been a lot of strong black women who has taken care of kids by themselves, who has done everything in life on their own. They don't, y'all don't need a man to take care of what you got or yourself. My mother is one example. She had two kids, nice house. Didn't have to ask for much, man. She got what she need. She, 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 you got what you need. If you got, if you got us, your kid, look at your kid right now. That's all you need. That's all you need is your baby. You need to hug your babies, love them, man. Them your little images, them your seeds, your creations, and man. Don't, and don't blame nobody else for it. Because you are, you, have the problem too. You have the reason that all of this happened. Right. So don't blame nobody else. If you're gonna blame you somebody, blame much. yourself. But be strong. Man. <laughs> it takes two.